Uh, thank everybody for coming out. Great event. Uh, everybody that played a part of this event. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Once again, we did it again. On to the next. Hey, hey, Tank. Congratulations on the victory. Obviously, it's just a, it's always a matter of time with you when you're going to land that knockout punch. How did you size him up, and what did you do to get to that moment where you ended the fight? Uh, I just had to get in uh, the right uh, range. You know, I was fighting my range. Out. Uh, he had a decent jab. Uh, he was moving a lot. You know what I mean? Um, just had to break him down as the rounds. I mean, as the fight was going on. So many uh, great fighters that you can take on next, including maybe Lomachenko. Interested in that fight? November for sure. Yeah, for sure. As long as we, we go back to the drum board, and, um, I want to fight all of them. Thank you so much. Congrats. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Um, a lot of people thought early on in the fight, as sometimes is the case with you, that you start a little slowly, and that a lot of people had it winning early on. How did you feel like you were doing? Did you think he was doing anything to win rounds? And you figured it was a matter of time before the power? Uh, I mean, oh my bad. I mean, uh, he definitely was, you know, throwing more punches than than our um, beginning of the rounds. And my whole thing was to, you know, what I mean, let him tie himself up. I don't think he, he was connecting a lot of them shots, but he was definitely like touching my gloves and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But um, I knew he was going to tie himself up. That's that was the whole game plan. And on the last shot, the left hand is one of the most brutal left hands I've seen, maybe like ever. That was a very impressive shot. Did you feel like that? He seemed like he was really mad to hurt with the shot before that. Did you figure that when you landed that shot? Because you ran to the corner post to you know start to get in position to do your flip. I think before the referee even finished counting the ten. Yeah, I knew the way he he felt like he wasn't getting back up because he hit his head. You know what I mean? Man, you know what I mean? So. Um, Oh, oh, uh, he's, he's a great fighter. Trevante, do you think, you know, you get so much notoriety for your power, but your smarts in the ring maybe don't, people don't talk about a lot, and it seems like, you know, guys get into patterns, and you find that, and you break it down, and you seem like you're the smarter fighter a lot of times at the end of the day, but people don't give you credit for that. Is that do you agree with that A, and B, do you think it's frustrating to, you know, hear about your power, but not hear about how smart you are in the ring? I've been going on for uh, my whole pro career, so. It's okay. It's really like, you know, uh, people can play, uh, smart people can play dumb, but dumb people can't play smart. You know what I mean? So it goes like that. And, you know, you had mentioned you want to fight all of them, right? And, um, you know, there's a lot of good guys out there. Uh, he mentioned Loma. You know, Shakur would be another guy with you. I, I wonder, you know, Shakur is a quick boxer, a good guy, but do you think he would engage you enough to make it an entertaining fight? Or if you fought him, do you feel like it would be a bad fight because you'd be chasing him all night? Dude, you know how it would go. Everybody in this room would know how it go. You know what I mean? But, um, I guess it would be good for the sport every fight. Uh, now I'm going to Hey, Javante, what's up, man? Najee from Cigar Talk. Congratulations. Uh, big win tonight. There was a part, like, it felt like round maybe five or six. You kind of started walking forward, like, it didn't look like you respected the power. You were kind of walking forward, hands down a little bit, just throwing bombs. Can you talk about his power at all? Did it affect you? Like, did you feel the power? How did you feel, like, when you were walking forward? Yeah, he had decent power, but um, he was wearing down as the, as the fight was going on. That's how I know that, you know what I mean, uh, he was breaking down. You know what I mean? So that's when I start picking it up more. My coach was trying to pick it up more. All right, cool. And lastly, um, I know you said when we had our interview, you said you got the six or seven fight deal. You could really pick anybody. Is there a name that you want, or is it just kind of who, whoever wants to get it? All of them. Javante. Javante, what do you think about the Best Women's Boxing Show period? And our scrum, you said you were going to predict an eighth round knockout. You sure did it. Yeah. Oh, here. You, you predicted eighth round knockout. Is that what you were planning on, or you were just hoping that you were going to just get him out of there as fast as you can? No, I was just, I was just throwing that out there. I mean, but every time I say it, though, yes. I mean, okay, my next fight, the first round. And then lastly, <laughs> and then lastly yeah. do you believe that Green Martin has been your toughest test throughout your career, as of right now? Nah. Hi, Gervonta. Leo Dosko with Title Sports Network.
Congratulations on your win. That was an epic fight. Now that you've been in the ring with both Ryan Garcia and Frank Martin, whose performance and style impressed you more? No, no. <laughs> I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. So, my favorite. No, I was it. I was it. Yeah. What? <laughs> Not to be done. Right here, man. Jorante over here, Power 06. Do you think your style, both in and out of the ring, especially during fight night, you know, boosts your confidence, especially for this fight? Say it again, I'm sorry. Your style, your fashion, do you think that boosts your confidence during fight week, and especially tonight, you rock those pro hearts? Do you think that really put you in the right headspace? No, I think it's music when I was in the back and in, uh, in the locker room. I listen to a lot of music, so I think that gives me more and give me hype and stuff like that. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, Skip, well, first of all, congratulations uh, Thank you. on a great win. This is Skip Brown from Dante's Boxing Nation by way of IP TV. You just beat a really good Southpaw and both of the other uh, champions in your division of Southpaws, Loma Chico and Steve. Uh, Loma Chico and Stevens. Did Frank Martin prepare you for those fights? No, I don't think so, because they, they all fight different. They all fight different. One a boxer, one, like, you know, try to stay in front of you. Frank was somewhat a boxer, but they, they, why are <laughs> No, but he was, you know, it's cool. They all fight different. You know, I approach every fight different, so. I don't think it helped me for them guys. Javante, uh, Sean Fattel, right here in the back, right next to Skip. Uh, you know, there was so much made about the sparring. Yeah, hey, you don't want to say he clipped me. Huh? You say he clipped me. I've seen, seen that video. Did you Did you watch the whole thing? Yeah, I see. And where I picked you by knockout? And said that, that he started <laughs> clinching excessively and uh, yeah. that, was, that he wouldn't be able to do that in this fight as an answer to you coming back at him. Yeah, he was tight strong when he was grabbing me too. I couldn't get him off of him. Like, <laughs> but just the question is, there was so much made about that sparring session over the last you know couple of years. How does it feel to punctuate it with a win in a, in a fight? It's cool, but again, the job not done, so it's on to the next. But it was, it's, it's cool, it was a good build up. Uh, again, Frank Martin was a great great fighter. I uh, appreciate him for you know, uh, coming to fight. He put up a good six to seven rounds. No, well, good four to five. What was the conversation about with your number one fan up there? Huh? What was the conversation about with your number one fan in the right after the fight? Oh, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> He's crazy. Um, He's crazy talking about rematch. He said I was the best at uh, 135 to 42. He said that. He said that. He said he won't fight me again. I'll kill his ass again. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. First of all, your reaction to your face on the side of the MGM? Fire. I mean, I remember again, I been here, uh, and, uh, I fought in the Golden Gloves probably like 2014 or 13 or something like that. And I, and I came to, uh, I think, Floyd versus, um, no, no, this is no, no, Koro. Yeah, I was in the, I was in the uh, Golden Gloves. Yeah. And I remember, like, a lot of celebrities and stuff like surrounding the building and stuff like that. He sold it out. I was actually all the way in Mosby. Then I had to touch the uh, top of the room, but it's cool. I'm here now and I appreciate the moments and it helped me get to where I'm at today. You and David Benavides want to combo? Would you want him again in the same part? Yeah, for sure. And we could, and we could uh, swap it out. You know what I mean? I could be cool, man. He could be man. It don't matter. Last thing, your, your prediction for you and Lola? Predictions? You know what I say, man. Ass whooping time, man. Ass whooping. About the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Next question. Yeah. Thank over here, Kayla. Well, over here, Tierra. Over here. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, congratulations on another victory. Um, now that you are 30 and 0, what does this win mean to your legacy? I mean, it's a stepping stone, but again, and I can't celebrate too much because I gotta do it again. You know what I mean? So I look at it like that. You know what I mean? I'm not done until you know what I mean until I retire. So I can't look at it as a, a big win or anything like that. It's cool for the moment, but then I gotta do it again. Got to be in the stage again. I would just tell somebody like, "Oh my God, I hate going through this. It's like worrying about what somebody gonna do to me. What I'm gonna do to somebody. Like, it's getting annoying." Now. Um, and last question, at any point did you switch up your game plan? I know they said that they had Mark, uh, sorry, Martin winning in the first few rounds. So did you switch up your game plan any at any point today or did you stick to what you know you were training for? No, I just, um, yeah, well my coach was just telling me like put my punches together more. You know what I mean? I was, I was doing what I wanted for the first couple of rounds, just stand in his face to make him throw punches. And then my coach was telling me like now start, start putting your punches together, you know what I mean? And that's what I start breaking them down when I start putting my punches together. Tank right here in the middle, Marcus Sainz with Fight Lab TV. Congratulations again and another yes. outstanding performance. Uh, this question is for both you and Coach Calvin. Um, Coach Calvin talked this week about wanting to see that special button pressed for you. Coach, was tonight that night? Did the button finally get pressed? Did you see the different level of tank? It's cool. <laughs> Javante, uh, to your left. To your left. Eleven o'clock. Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. Um, a lot of the talk all week was about the hundredth fight here at the MGM. There are a lot of media members in here that have covered. All the in the seventies or attendant fights, they, 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 they remember what fight night meant in Las Vegas. Have you taken time to appreciate your place in history in this city and what it means to be part of fight night compared to some of the days in the eighties with Leonard Hagler Hearns, the progression of fighting in Vegas? Yeah, it just it's, it's big, you know. Just I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of this moment. You know, what I mean, uh, fight night Vegas and. At first, when I used to fight in Vegas, when I was uh, an amateur, you used to get tired and stuff like that because I was too and now, you know, you're a professional, you know what I mean? Things started, you know, uh, coming together, you know, so um, just being a part of this whole thing, you know what I mean? Fighting in Vegas, fighting at the MGM, just, you know what I mean? It's, I'm grateful to be here for sure and be under the same building as a lot of legends. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely grateful to be in this, this spot today and just be a part of it. Uh, just even right here today, just doing this, you know what I mean, this media on I mean, five. Appreciate it for sure. Over here, uh, Mohammed Mubarak with EURweb.com. On a night where the engine ran and celebrating 100 championship fights, your fight today should be something special to you. How special is that fight? It's very special to me. Uh, I wish I could have took pictures with all the legends that came out today. If they still here, I definitely want to take pictures with them just to, you know, I feel like my spot is, you know what I mean, solidify my spot, you know what I mean? So I'm definitely appreciative of everything. Everything. Nothing go on notice. And probably would see me last out, but when I get to my song, definitely like, appreciative. Congratulations on a great fight. Thank you. Well, thank you, Javante. Thank you. All right, we want to wish Javante Davis a congratulations.